This afternoon I'm talking with Alain de Saint-Croix, who is the head of Agile Consulting Team at TCS, one of the platinum sponsors at this year's Agile Business Conference. Alan, you'll be delivering a keynote presentation with Richard August, who is leading the European IT process and service management consulting practice for TCS. Can I start by asking, you're working with a number of large organisations, helping them to move to more agile ways of working. What would you say is the key to successful agile transition? Firstly, we have to recognise that agile transformation is, is not solely an IT change. It, it, it is a business change. Uh, it affects the whole value chain within an organisation. And for me, the key is a, is a clear strategy, and something like Cotter's eight-step process gives us a really good answer um, to you know, how we should go about making that change. And when I look at a lot of the um, transformations that I, that I see, um, I have to ask myself, well, where is the sense of urgency? Uh, or um, where is that powerful um, guiding coalition? Uh, have we got the right stakeholders involved? Have we got that correct executive sponsorship um, that we need to make the change happen? Do we have the vision, um, you know, that, that really good um, uh, vision for change? Um, are we overstretching ourselves within that vision? Um, quite often I, 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 I see um, transformations that are taking a team that can barely do requirements through to one that's trying to run Scrum and extreme programming uh, and user stories, and is it too much of a change for them? Um, and are we communicating it well enough? So for, for me, Cotter's eight-step process, and I mean, talked about the first four, um, is, is, is essential for, for good agile transformation. Now this would apply to any large organisation, including the government and public sector, or would you say there are different challenges for those? Um, it does, I think it, it, it does apply equally well within the public sector. The challenge within the public sector is scale. Um, if I ask myself how many stakeholders are involved within a public sector project, I could end up saying, well, that's everybody in the country. It's, it's just absolutely massive within the public sector. And controlling those stakeholders and, and controlling the communication to those stakeholders is, is huge. So finally, Alan, moving to the subject of your keynote, you expect customers to demand more sophisticated and integrated services in an ever more dynamic business environment. How does an agile approach help where technology is the main differentiator? Well, technology gives us you know, improved time to market or um, improved leads to cash statistics. It's, it's the way that we can do business faster. Um, and as we increase the way that we do, as, as we change the way that we do business, um, making use of social media, um, the cloud, and big data, and software as a service, as this gets, um, as, as we use this more within our business world, so feedback becomes absolutely essential. And Agile gives us feedback. Um, if I'm asked, you know, to sum up Agile in one word, I, I normally say feedback. Um, and the feedback has to be high quality. So we, we, we've got to get the engineering right, we've got to get test-driven development correct, we've got to do our continuous integration um, and refactor our code. We've, we've got to put all those things in place. Um, if we don't do so, then we're just going to be immature. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Alan, and we look forward to seeing you in October. Thank you.